Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's your name? My name is George. George? Yeah. What part of Syria are you from? I'm from North Syria. Syria. From a yeah. region called Hasaka. It's very cool. Hasaka. Hasaka, uh, uh, my hometown is basically on the north between the border between Turkey and Syria. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, kind of like. You 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 speak Aramaic. I speak Aramaic. I, sp I speak Arabic. Yeah. Because I grew up in Syria as well. Uh, I'm I'm Semitic on both sides, Arabic and Aramaic. But uh, when whenever I protest, I'm never anti-Semitic. I am anti-Zionist because Zionism is a movement that hates every system, hates colors and religions. But in order to respect people, we have to be to, to respect others. Or for them to respect you back, but if you're not doing the same to people, you cannot expect people to love you. People won't love you. I don't have a problem with any Jewish people. My problem is with the government, the Zionist government, and the U.S. government. 100%. Without, without, without that, without America, there's no, there's no Israel. Israel, Israel, and even UK, they are not innocent. UK and and USA, they support them back in 1930. Six before like Nakba, mm. they brought a lot of people to here. Well, I'm a refugee here. From the, I was a refugee. Now I'm a citizen. But when I became a refugee here, I didn't like when I said here for a year. I didn't say that the year after. This is my land, this is Syria. I didn't say this. But Jewish people when they came from other countries in 1948. They came as a refugees. Palestine welcomed them. But straight away they, they turn it into a war and they say this is our land. Imagine waking up four, four in the morning, you and your, your kids living in peace, somebody not knock your door, break your door, put weapons in the hands of your kids. Well, you, you have to resist, right? Yeah. Because as a human being, I'm not talking about any religion or any color, as an ordinary human being, you will resist. But in, in, in people here in, 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 in the West world, when they see one of us in the Middle East, resist, that's when you're a terrorist. It's not terrorism. It's just me as a human being trying to protect my rights as a human being. So, so you reckon, as you like in your language, kind of like, you say, boy, Israel and America forming uh, Palestinians. 100%. What they're doing is like uh, sowing seeds of uh, uh, revenge. Is, people are they're going to. Hamas probably get even bigger. But well, the problem is not on Hamas. Let's be honest. Yeah. Look at the West Bank. West Bank has zero Hamas, and people there, Christian Muslims, they get humiliated on a daily basis. Thank you very much. They get spit out on daily basis. Not being Jewish people. And Thank this is, you. This is, like you're anti people, you're anti racist, you are you're, you're anti a lot of, a lot of things. I, how you tell me I am anti Semitic for asking for my rights, which is I am not. I am not anti Semitic. But you can be against my religion, against my race, against who I am. And people will say, Yeah, it's right because you're Israeli and you can say whatever you want. But for me as a human being, when I open my mouth, I'm a terrorist or I am anti Semitic. No, I am not. So do you think uh, the US and uh, the West the US are, 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 are the, the politicians of the West know that they are sowing that, that, that it's, it's going to become the, that. So I, the, iron, that. The Iron Dome. I mean, they're, they're okay with that. The Iron Dome in Israel was created by America. Yeah. The money that they've got for all this weapons right now is supposed by America. Exactly. By U UK as well, because it's not, it's not only America. There is no war in the UK, in, in this planet happened, and UK is not involved in it. Unfortunately, I'm from Syria. If you like it or not, we had a civil war. We didn't have occupation. We have dictator for over 12 years doing what he's doing. If the UK or USA wanted to take him away, they could have done it ages ago. If they really want to, because they've done that in 2003 to Saddam Hussein. Because they have a lot of people, but because he's with them, with the same thing, nobody speak about it. And yet people my in my country are suffering because of that. But we, if we come, like I got traumatized four years in the war, and I would never forget about it. They, they, they destroyed my childhood. And I'm complaining about it. Imagine for being Palestinian, imagine being Palestinian for 75 years, generation after generation, seeing what's happening, and not, not living in peace. Is it worth it? No. Which side is 
Were you involved in the Syria? I wasn't involved. I was, I was, I was suited back then. My weapon, is, my weapon is the pen, the so study. You were kind of like forced out. Of course, and I lost my friends and I lost family. For what? Yeah. For UK and USA, for oil, oil and oil. oil. Yeah. Of course, yeah. of course. And it, if they, whoever says it's not, it's lie. Mm. But uh, the problem again, I don't blame the Western world. If Syrian government or if us Syrians were loving each other, we wouldn't allow the others to come in our land. Mm. But once you allow it, it's your, it's your, your decision. Then for everything, for every action, there is a reaction. Exactly. There's consequences for everything. You allow stranger to come inside your house, it become his house. But in that, that's our situation as Syrians. But as Palestinians, they don't have no choice. It's occupation. You you evacuate your house or destroy you while you're inside it. In in in, in which human being, in which race, in which Bible, in which Quran, in which. Religion accept that. Nothing accepts this. As a human being, even if you're atheist, if you don't believe in God, as a human being, you wouldn't allow this to happen. But yet it's happening. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. When you left, uh, were you forced to leave Syria? Mm -hmm. uh, did you leave as a refugee or uh, did you hey, join family here? Hey, oh, I've got all my family here. Thank God we're doing well. Yeah. Uh, I, be, I became a refugee here. But now I'm a citizen. On the other hand, I'm not only going to speak about Syria refugees. As a human being, when the UK telling refugees you're not welcome anymore, we will send you back to Rwanda. In the first place, where, why why were you in my in my country? If you if you, if you speak honest about it, but nobody speak about this stuff. Because no. once you speak about it. You are anti something, you are racist. No, I'm not. I'm just talking about facts. It's not opinion. Opinion is different to facts. Facts are, you've got statistics, numbers, everything. UK, they don't welcome people from other, like, I've got refugees now who send back to Rwanda. Yeah. And with, if, if, if I re clear up to you, if the UK wasn't involved in Syria war, would I be, in, would I be now on the camera right now? No, I'll be in my country in peace. But because they enter my country, if you, if you enter someone's country, you have to welcome them in, the, in your country. That's why I believe. I'm not saying only about the UK, any other country. I, I'm not specifically talking about the UK or the USA. Any country that get involved to attack other people, occupy other people, the least they can receive is refugees to his country. Mm. I, do, I do believe that, but I'm not just saying the UK, but all I'm saying UK are not innocent. UK are not innocent, USA are not innocent. Let's have one more question. Did, 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 did the British government make life hard for you getting citizenship in this country after what they, they've done to you in your own country? I would, be, I would say, I d we say we don't spit where we ate from. So I don't ignore that the UK government helped me. But on the other side, there was different treatment between me and others mm. as a world refugee. I'm not trying to criticize or anything, but Ukrainian refugees were taken from Ukraine to here by train and bus and aeroplanes and they were welcome. When my mom went through the sea, and I don't know nothing about it, and she came to here speaking zero language, you know, just to show them that I'm a human being, I, I, I deserve to live in peace. Yeah. But when you are doing all this stuff, when you welcome other refugees in this way, and now they, I've got Ukrainian refugees who are my friends, they get host families and all these treatments. I didn't have that. I have to chase my, my, my myself, or I have to chase my life by myself from beyond zero. But others, if you call me a refugee, and you call every other refugee, equal to me, you have to be treated equally. I'm not hating on Ukrainians, I love Ukrainians. But I'm just talking about how UK treats refugees if you're from different well, well, yeah, and that's Caucasian, the fact. Caucasian, they I'm, you're white. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm, the thing is, I'm not talking about news. I'm talking about real life. Not a friend of mine is a refugee. No, I used to be a refugee. I'm a citizen now. And my friend is a refugee. And the stuff that, like my friend, she came from Ukraine. Within one year, she's in, in university. And when I came to here, my English level was so good. They did not accept me in the first place. Uh, it was 100% better than her. I'm not hating on her. I do, I'm not even jealous of her because 
she deserved this. But at the same time, when she deserved it, I deserve it as well as a human. But I didn't get the support. Yes. Um, I think that's, that's, I think that's enough for the interview. Uh, what's your name again? My name is George. George. Yeah. Don't want to give you a name. Uh, no, no. Um, sorry. Would you like to uh, uh, write an essay for Canterbury PSC? Um, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, if I give you my email, I don't. I, I got one. Uh, <laughs>